All right, welcome to the tutorial on how to register for classes for 1920 school year. We are going to look at the login and password that is located on the label on the upper right corner of your transcript. It is your first name, middle initial, dot last name. That's your username, so we're going to type in students here. Okay, and then your password is four numbers and two letters. And then you sign in. Oops. Open student access. You're going to come over here and click schedule. Then we're going to click request courses for the 1920 school year. This will bring up a new window that has a list of courses on the left hand side. These are the course codes attached to those courses. And then this should be just a blank open screen right here. So we're going to start. Uh, your counselor has written a, uh, the required courses on your transcript that you need for the next school year. So we're going to start with this particular student. Uh, the course code you can see it looks different from last year's. It is a letter two numbers, a letter, and two numbers. Now you can see some of them have uh, longer course codes, um, but typically they will start with a letter, two numbers, a letter, and two numbers. So we're going to type that course code in for the first class. So this student is going to take English Comp 1 Dual Enrollment. We click on the class and then select Add Course. That's going to move that class over to this blank screen um, that we had, and it's under Selected Courses. Now, because we did Comp 1, we have to also do Comp 2. So G01H31. You can either press Enter or Search. It will bring up that class with the course code, select the box that the class is in, and Add Course. All right, so we've made sure to enter both Comp 1 and 2 for that. Most of you will be either entering Comp 1 and 2 or your English 1, 2, 3, or 4, depending on what class you're going to be taking. Next, we're going to put in, let's do World History for this student. So we have G, and then we have 04, H, 1, 0. Now you can see here that this has pulled up three different world history courses, but we're looking at the course code over here because that's the one we typed in. This one is for freshmen, and then this one is the year-long world history that's going to be offered in fourth period. So we select. Make sure not to click on the actual name of the class because that's a link that opens up details about the class. So we just close that out, add course, and it puts it over into the selected courses frame. So you're going to do that for all of the classes that we have written on your transcript that are required. Uh, and then you can also add additional classes uh, that you would like to take for electives. You have to make sure that you have a total of nine classes or nine credits. Now this will look a little different if you're taking dual enrollment classes. Uh, we're going to hop over here to the request alternates. We just click that link right there. And you have the option to add a maximum of three alternate courses uh, for any classes that you would like to take. Um, if they happen to be full or um, they don't work in your schedule, then you're going to type in a class uh, that you would like to have instead of that class. So say you need an art class. Uh, and so say you've already put art fundamentals in over here under requested courses, but say art fundamentals is full, then you would be okay with taking drawing. So we're going to type in G 05 H 09. Then we're going to select that and add course. So then that's going to show up as your first alternate um, and that has a number one for priority. And you can do, if you want multiple alternates, um, in case drawing is full, then you could go in and type in painting or drawing um, or drama if you wanted to do that instead. So that's going to give you opportunities to uh, have Skyward plug in classes where you may not be able to take uh, a class due to size or if it doesn't fit in your schedule. So if you ever enter a class incorrectly, um, 
let's say we decide we want to take the fourth period world history, we just select the class and then remove class. It takes it out of that frame and then you can type in and search for the class that you would like to have instead. So make sure that you are getting a total number of nine credits minimum. Uh, if you enter a teacher's aid um, or anything that does not have credit attached to it, um, you will have to understand that that will not be totaled up here at the top. So uh, if you have any questions, please come see Miss Ellis or Miss Hartley in the counseling office. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have.